Hi guys, I am Jerwin and I am your instructor for the day. And today we will have our lecture about learning the use of the chain rule is a rule used to differentiate composite function. Composite function is a function whose values are obtained by applying one function to the result of the other function. So, the main objective of this topic is to find the derivative of a function using the chain rule or find the dy dx. So, here are the example of composite functions. We have here the f of x is equals to quantity 3x plus 4 raised to 6. This is called composite function because there is an inner value and the outer value. We have here another example, g of x is equals to quantity x squared plus 1 raised to 2. Same is true with the our first example, which is f of x. And another is z of x is quantity x squared plus 2x plus 1 raised to 2. So we have here the outer value or outer function, which is 2. And our inner function, which is a quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is also called a composite function. So another is mx is equals to 1 over x plus 1 squared. We have also the outer value or outer function, which is 2. And we have an inner function, which is 1 over x plus 1, which can be derived using the quotient rule which is vdu minus udv over v squared and lastly we have here the f of x which is 4 over x plus 2 and g of x which is 1 over x and we have here some situational questions which is maybe f f of g of x or g or f of x or whatsoever other functions that can be solved within these two uh, generally chain rule is expressed as the derivative of a function is equals to f prime of g of x times the uh, derivative of the inner function which is g prime of x or y prime is equals to f prime of u multiplied by our inner function which is u which is um, multiplied by its derivative chain rule is a little cryptic or what to do but do thankfully the other name of the outside inside rule which is dy dx is equals to the derivative of the outside function leaving inside the loop which we base on this equation f is derivative of the outside function which is our f leaving the inside alone which is u or the g of x multiply by the derivative of the inside function which is our u prime or our so we have here an example of a chain rule which is find the derivative of the composite function below that is given x as the independent variable. Since we have a uh, function y is equals to sine 4x plus 2, this function is a trigonometric function because it involves sines. But it is just an illustration on how to solve this equation simply are using the chain rule. So we have here the formula for differentiation for our for sine function, which is outside function, which is d over dx of sine x is equal to cosine x. We derive the outside function, which is sine, which is the derivative of a sine, is a cosine. So this formula is only valid for the variable for differentiation that has an exponent and coefficient of 1. Then our function is a composite of y is equals to sine u and our u 
is equals to our inside function which is 4x plus 2 so now our derivative of u with respect to y is equals to cosine u which is our outside function and the derivative of u in terms of x is equals to 4 which is our derivative of our, of our inside function therefore the y prime or the derivative of y in terms of x with respect of x to x is equals to cosine u times the out our derivative of our inside function which is 4 so we clean this up a little bit and dy dx is equals to 4 times cosine and substitute the value of our new uh, u prime a uh, u is equals to 4x plus 2 so let's now proceed with the general power rule so a general power rule states the derivative of a function is a product of n times of a function raised to n minus 1 power and its derivative mathematically expressed as derivative of u raised to n with respect to u is equals to n times u raised to n minus 1 times the derivative of a u where u is a function and u prime is equals to du or the derivative of a u the general power rule also uses the concept of a chain rule so in some cases so let's say we have an example y is equals to 3x plus 1 raised to 7 so let's find the y prime or the dy over dx of this function so let's find the y prime or the dy dx of a function so first step is we must focus first on the outside function which is outside the parenthesis is we found the 7 as the exponent and we base on our rule which is the derivative of u raised to n with respect to u is equals to n which is our exponent multiplied by u and the exponent will be deducted by 1 multiplied by u prime so we bring the 7 exponent here as our n multiply by u which is 3x plus 1 raised to 7 which is our exponent minus 1 as we base around here multiply by u prime and this is our u and its u prime is equal to the derivative of 3x is equal to 3 and the derivative over over 1 is equal to 0 so 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 and the next so now that we come up with this um, equation so 7 quantity 3x plus 1 raised to 7 minus 1 multiplied by our inner inner function or the derivative of our inner function which is 3 this is now our uh, equation based on our formula and you can uh, uh, clean this up a little bit and simplify so we have now dy over dx the tree will be multiplied around over here so 7 times 3 is equals to 21 multiply by 3x plus 1 which is remain untouched because it we do not derive this function raised to 7 minus 1 which is 6 so this will be now our answer of the function of 3x plus 1 raised to 7 using the general now that uh, we have now a prior knowledge about solving the uh, chain rule and the general power rule that's not very much 
that is very um, pretty much the same in terms of uh, equation or the formula on how to solve this following functions that just based on their equations but we have here some examples regarding of this topic question is when do we need to use chain rule or general power rule so the answer is in, a, in our example we have a composite function which is a function inside a function let's just say we just have another example so what if we use 2x plus 8 do we need to use a chain rule or a general power rule? No, because there is no other function included. It's just one function and this equation is not a composite. And we have here another question. Why don't we just use the FOIL method for solving these equations? Yes, you can. You can do whatever that makes you feel free for solving this equation. But in my own understanding, Using the chain rule or general power rule helps you to solve composite functions easier and saves more time and more effort and much faster.